Hi guys, welcome to my channel Music and Tech again. This is Kevin. Today I want to discuss with you using your Scarlett 2i2 Gen 3 audio interface in your Zoom meetings. So aside from that, I think there are a lot of videos on showing you how to use it. But uh, today I'm just going to discuss with you how to use it, how to set your settings properly and to tell you what's the advantage and disadvantage of using just an audio interface on your Zoom settings. I think, um, yeah, I have a video showing how I set it up before uh, for our Zoom meetings and why I did it that way. So for today, perhaps I'll give you uh, more reason why I did it in my video in the link shown in the description below and why I don't opt to just using an audio interface, okay? So again, if you go to your Zoom, after you have installed your Zoom app, you just have to go to your um, settings, then go to audio, and then you have to select your Scarlett 2i2. Yeah, so you see it's now coming in. So you should increase the volume actually, and then um, also for the test speaker, you have to increase it. And then you have to set this to low because um, it will disrupt your um, Zoom sessions. Uh, somehow the uh, Zoom with, with its, all its uh, algorithms will try to suppress and then interfere with your sound. So it will not sound nicely in your Zoom sessions and then since you're using a um, audio interface, then you can select um, original sound and use high fidelity so that you have a very good sound quality. And then for the other settings, I just keep it as default. And then, okay. So if you would see my audio interface, I have my microphone. I have my digital piano connected via XLR cable. So, yeah, if you would see that I can only, I would increase my gain through to around past 50%, but if you, if you find that the sound coming from your mic, for example, if you're going to sing, if you're going to speak, is too soft, then you can increase the gain um, appropriately or accordingly. And then just make sure that the, the, indicator light doesn't turn orange especially red because if it does hap if that happens then your audio is getting clipped so you have to avoid that and then for my piano if you see yeah i will set on set it only up to around um 40% i would say or 35% because if you increase it too much then it will be too loud. And then you see it will turn a bit orange in color. So it's too loud already. And then you have to be mindful that um, your audio um, is not, I mean your keyboard, sorry. Your keyboards is not overpowering your um, microphone because if you're going to sing, then the dig your digital piano input is too loud, then of course it will overpower your um, microphone. So um, uh, for us, how we do it is that I will ask someone who is not on site to do a sound check for me, and then I would balance the sound of my mic and my keyboard. So again, if you would see, uh, because I'm just using a Scarlet Gen 3 2i2 audio interface. I have only I have only two inputs. So, okay, the advantage of using an audio interface is that the sound signal coming from your mic or even from your instrument going into your in audio interface, going to your um, Zoom, is very clear. It's very clear. The signals are very clear.
but the problem is if you're going to use just an audio interface as as what I have now is that of course you only have two inputs so if you are playing as a band then you only have one instrument that you can put on so if you have a guitar or a bass or drums then you have no other place to uh, input that into your audio interface so that's one problem but I mean you can buy an audio interface which would have like eight inputs um, yeah that's an option it's more expensive though and the issue is that before you send your audio signal going into your audio interface the problem is it's quite difficult to balance the sound I know that um, there's a software that you can use like a mixer so that you can balance the sound but uh, we have tried that before and it's not really that uh, working I mean uh, somehow the software as far as I know is difficult to control also I think I should have a video on that also but uh, anyway it's quite difficult that's why we use a mixer going into an audio interface before sending it to Zoom. And another thing about just using an audio mixer is that you don't have any um, any knobs or sliders that you can use to um, mix the sound of your, for example, your vocals or your instrument. Yeah, so then, yeah, it would sound too raw if you're singing and then if it would, um, for instrument, it's the same thing. You cannot adjust any, you cannot adjust your low, mid, highs, or you cannot put any effects. So that's the issue with the audio interface. But I think for audio interface, the standout is that if you're going to send audio signals to Zoom, it sends it in a very clear signal. Yeah, I think, yeah. So I think that's about it for this video. If you learned something, please click like. And then if you want to see my other videos, please click subscribe. Again, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.